Welcome! In this video, we will learn how to use CSM's Cloud Infrastructure Entitlement Management, also known as KIM. CSM's KIM helps you proactively identify and quickly remediate identity and access risks in your cloud environments before a threat actor can exploit them. It does so by helping you adopt the zero trust principle of least privileged access by continually detecting administrative privileges, unused permissions, large blast radii, and other access related risks. To enable KIM, go to settings under cloud security management, go to cloud accounts, and then enable resource scanning. Let's start with the CSM overview. Here, you can see there are 59 active identity risks, of which four are high severity with 13 medium severity. These identity risks are prioritized Kim's findings, so let's click into this tile. Here, you can see all active identity risks across your cloud environments. You can group these by identity risk type or resource. Let's look at the identity risk AWS IAM user has a large permissions gap. This has been detected across three users, so let's dive deeper. Here, you can see the description of the identity risk allowing your teams to understand why having a user with too many permissions isn't ideal. At the bottom, you have a list of users that are affected. Let's hone in on the first user. You are brought to the side panel with more information about the identity risk. This description helps anyone understand the issue. You can see when this was first detected and when it was last detected, helping engineers prioritize their investigation. The context graph for this identity risk explains how the user obtained the permissions. This visualization aids in identifying weaknesses in the resource configuration that may lead to security risks. You can also see the resource configuration at the bottom. A best practice would be to click into the remediation tab and follow the steps provided. For this identity risk, you can see the unused permissions. In this case, it looks like the user has used only these three S3 permissions in the last 15 days, so the other permissions are not required. You can get a suggested downsize policy that is generated by CSM Kim based on the actual usage. This helps you downsize the user's access to minimum permissions without disrupting their workflows. You have the ability to edit this policy within your AWS account. Just to note, if you have CloudTrail log forwarding or AWS IAM Access Analyzer enabled on AWS, this detection will give you coverage for longer than 15 days. Alternatively, you can use any of the following options for remediation. You can create a JIRA issue by either creating a new ticket or attaching an existing one. For automatic remediation, you can run a workflow as a pre-configured remediation playbook. Teams can also dive right into the AWS console from CSM, allowing them to cut down response time and close the gap. Soon, you will also be able to remediate an issue by updating your infrastructure as code scripts right from CSM using the fix in GitHub option. To report or track progress on identity risks, you can leverage the identity risks out of the box dashboards. To meet your specific reporting needs, you can customize these dashboards or build them from scratch. And just like that, engineers can proactively address pivotal identity and access management risks and make achievements that can be easily reported to stakeholders. To learn more, go to the CSM overview docs here and select identity risks.